we will see now the new tendon input inside mother. What we see is very similar to what we have, what we had inside arm bridge analyzer. Just define the tendon. If it's in the nerve pretension or postension, we can define additional parameters like the number of tendons, but also the steer area and the area of the duct. We will also define what are the different frictions coefficients. In the case of pretension, we can define the different lengths at the anchor. Then, if it's post tension, we can define from where we have to start for the tensioning. When everything is defined, we can check that it is from the beginning of the bridge here to the end of the bridge. Here we have all the elements stressed. Now, let's see the geometry input. We directly enter a view where we see the cross-section with the different points, and we will first add all specific stations uh, where we have to define a going through point for the tendons. Note that there are only stations for where we have put cross-sections, but we will see after that we can change the stationing by defining a delta length inside the element. So just update what are the stations to be shown on our list by clicking uh, in front of the station value. We can define all the stations at once or we can also add more stations after. Here we will add the latest stations. And press OK so that we will fill our table. Now, for each point, it's exactly the same as what we had, so we can define the element number. It gives us the stationing. We can define if we are at the beginning 0x divided by L or at the end 1, what type of point it is and what is the reference. So, is it center of gravity for the first point or it is a specific geometrical point and in that case you can see that we can select directly in the sum menu as we had in the past also we can define the tangent for these points so either if it is free a free tangent or we define both value in the horizontal and in the vertical so let's go, go through all the different points and changing the different points which our definition is relative to. For the geometrical point, we can define also the different family of points and the name of the point. In our case, uh, the geometrical point has been placed directly where we want uh, the tendons to be placed. But for each point, we can also give a delta in horizontal, EZ, or a delta in vertical, EY. And the same for the tangent, where the tangent can be applied versus various different points. I remind you, if, for example, we define a tangent versus a cross-section point, when we place zero, it means that it will be parallel to the way this cross-section point takes. So, typically, if we have a variable cross-section, indicating by that that, for example, uh, the lower part of the bridge is going down, a zero tangent value will force the tendon to go parallel to that part of concrete. Let's change our latest point. And finally, we arrive at the end, so you see that at the end, the x divided by L is 1. By the way, on point 118, we have put 0.5, so the station is updated in that case. We have different view to see here 
directly what is the uh, tendon, and we can, with a small arrow, recompute uh, the tendons to see its final geometry. We can also define the tendon stressing, and for that we have a wizard because it's always uh, often always the same. So we have uh, first stressing, and we stress first from left, then from right, and automatically all this is done with a given stressing level, and we can follow uh, the law of stressing. Now we will transfer this tendon inside the analysis spot. So as usual, just recalculate. Now we have our analysis model. If we just recompute, we can see with this structure check, we can see our tendon inside our analysis model. But now we will see the big advantage of this new method entering these different things. Because our tendon is defined versus the stationing. Let's say that, for example, we double the number of sections. So, for example, we will add new sections uh, at the middle of each element. So, we insert points uh, starting at station 2 and ending at station 138, stepping 4 meter by 4 meter. We then redefine the numbering of the different elements and the materials and so on, and the variations. And let's go to our tendon menu. So you can see that all elements have been updated, but also in the geometrical definition, the stationing have been kept but the numbering of the element have changed. And we can see that it is exactly the same tendon, at least the same geometry, but going through uh, numerous elements compared with what we had before. And if we transfer it again to analysis, and let's compute our model, we can see that we get exactly the same model for the tendon, except that we have double the number of elements. We have also this new possibility in Modeler now. In the View option, you can define transparency, which is very useful to see the tendons inside the 3D model. So let's put a big transparency, so 80%. And now you can see that in our 3D model, you can go and check that the tendon is OK in our 3D model. 